सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड थैंक यू रवि एंड थैंक यू हिकू सो आई थिंक मिस्टर रवि मिस्टर खन्ना मिस्टर जैन है डिस्कस अबाउट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट ऑफ द यू नो ग्राउंड माउंट रूफ टॉप जी एस टी ग्रीड प्रायोरिटी माइक्रो मैनेजमेंट यू नो ऑटोमेटिक सिस्टम एंड एवरी थिंग्स राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट प्रस्पेक्टिव सो एज ए डेवलपर और एज ए इन्वेस्टर वी आर डेवलपर कम इन्वेस्टर ऑल्सो एज एस्ट्रो एनर्जी सो वाट इज आवर बेसिक प्रोस्पेक्टिव आउट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज आई एम इन दिस इंडस्ट्री सिंस टू थाउजेंड इलेवन एंड आई हैव सीन द टेरिफ ऑफ एट्टी रुपीज सेवेंटी रुपीज ना आई एम सीन द टेरिफ ऑफ टू पॉइंट फोर फोर ऑल्सो आई डोंट नो इट विल गो लोअर ऑफ दैट सो देर इज ए टू प्रस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट वन इज ए वेरी गुड थिंग्स दिस इज टू पॉइंट फोर फोर बिकॉज दिस मेट द ग्रीड प्रायोरिटी एंड दिस इज ए self dependent so you cannot depend of the you know any subsidy or something like of from the government this is a good good things because you are also getting the same tariff in the middle east and the chile and mexico also the second one that the tariff is falling that this tariff is going to sustainable for the 25 year of the life of the plant or not that's what we are going to discuss so what as investor need investor we are going to take care of the three things one is the development front of uh, development point the second one is the technology selection and the third one is the financial stuff right so so first we have to check the financial health of the you know selection of the supplier or of the contractor or of the vendor suppose the tariff is 2.44 right and you are going to award of your sub contractor or sub supplier in very low cost right have you they have given the guarantee warranty everything which you have already capture in your commercial term and condition that that you have check if after 2 year or 3 year 3 year down the line if the company will go bankrupt what will happen then people will come into different picture yes i have the insurance i have taken from one of the renowned insurance from the munich ray and power guard something like that but definitely this is going to help you no personally i feel the munich ray or power guard is not going to help since i am in 2011 because why i am saying it is not going to help help because there is a something limitation of that one and there are that limitation there are 10 or 20 gigawatt of the capacity module manufacturer is selling right so suppose the entire gigawatt of the capacity got destroyed what will happen that munich ray or power guard is going to help out no number one the second one if the munich ray and power guard itself itself become the bankrupt what will happen where you will go if the power guard will bankrupt or munich ray uh, munich ray will get bankrupt what will happen in that case we have defined in the three scenario let us do the risk analysis the risk would be higher risk would be moderate or risk would be low right so you have to do the proper diligence of the study before selecting of your you know partner selecting of your sub supplier or sub, sub, uh, selecting of your you know uh, technology partner now from the perspective of the developer you know you are also getting uh, you know from the industry yes we have to do some diligence to get the certification if you have the certification what will happen why we need the certification from the vendor or sub supplier why we need the you know certification in in the in in, in this industry because of two perspective one first of all we have to get the confidence yeah we have the certificate or second you have to convince to your investor or second you have to convince to your developer yes i have the certification third one you can also manage the dispute resolution because if some of the company have the certification but they don't have self you know reliability on that technology so what do we do so people will show different different type of certification like the pi berlin tub or coc or something like that 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 is going to be help about of your technology selection i can say no totally no because you have certain parameter where which you have to measure the quality perspective of the vendor so better you have to do the due diligence you have to do the compliance of your certification to you know to get the better product now again it will come in the technology and pricing most of the people talk about the technology and the pricing road map because i have seen personally because i am the person i have done the detailed bill of material and the pricing of the part so now coming into 24.44 that is that 
the industry is going to sustain in this or it is going to lower than that i can say yes personally i can say 2.44 it is okay it will work with at least minimum 40 percent of the irr why i can say 2.4 it will work and 24 percent of the irr number one people are always focused on the module the silicon prices is go less than 10 uh, 10 dollar then the price will become 24 or 25 cent i do not believe fully the silicon price is going to be drop down less than uh, 10 dollar or not i don't know exactly but yes there is a evolving in the technology right in in the 2011 you have seen only for 264 or three less than 280 watt peak of module right now the people are talking about the, the different type of mo module 300 350 400 it will go what will happen this 300 400 450 right then what is the compatibility of other people who are talking about the 1500 vdc of design of the inverter I, I am not fully agree 1500 VDC of design it is go, going to work in the field or it is a proven or not exactly I don't know yes people are experimenting I have also experiment and it is working there are two regions working one is the cost the US cost will reduce significantly the second one the losses would be minimized but I am not fully agree of that people have came into the micro inverter right the, there are like hawaii or so many people have came into the micro inverter the benefit of the micro inverter is that you will reduce the civil cost you will reduce the bus cost and you can do the you know better monitoring or a string monitoring because wherever you are talking about the 50 100 vdc of design in the india or the indian scenario lot of component is not available if the component is available it is not sustainable right so suppose the cable is not available but your inverter is available I, uh, there is another things also when you are going to 1500 VDC design there is a monopoly in the system right why this is a monopoly there are few vendor here which have the 1500 VDC design most of the people they don't have at all so in that case we have to minimize the moon uh, we have to you know analyze the risk how you are going to analyze the risk number one you have to do the complete due diligence from your perspective you put the you know diligence from the third party inspector or you have to make you know uh, you ask them certification and you check the credential if that module or that particular uh, technology is available in the market they are giving higher return or higher generation that is going to throughout the 25 year or it is for only one year or two year or something like that or you are just you know what you are or you are just you know lucrative for the market so you have to do the throw analysis for that aspect yeah please right so why we need technology first of all why we need technology who need technology how need technology where it need the technology right because we are talking about the technology 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 yes technology is needed if, if we don't have the technology like in the 2011 the land uh, the, the the land required for per megawatt more than five acre right now it is less than or around to the three or 3.2 acre only required for the one megawatt of the plant so significantly we have reduced the land due to the technology right the generation was we are not getting higher but now the due to the technology yes generation we are getting lower yes due to the technology the price will be reduced significantly where it was 100 cent now it becomes the 25 or 24 or 26 cent whatever the market condition exactly i don't know i'm not the person i can disclaim this is the price going in the market yes but assessment it will go lower than others now the, we are talking about the inverter right 400 uh, thousand uh, vdc or uh, 1500 vdc we that somebody has calculated the losses how much will losses it will can if we are going to 1500 or we are going to 1000 because we have never thought about of the peak hours the two hours of the peak hour where you are losing lot of your energy you are generating the energy but you are losing lot of energy nobody has thought about that for but they are taking into model people are considering in the model of 80 80 one percent of your you know pr and the swelling is very very less one or two percent so something like that to just achieve the tariff but this is not the right things in the go in the ground situation there are a lot of difficulty will come in the onm perspective the lot of equipment will fail each and every day right so particularly or essentially you are getting only 70 74 73 or greater than 70 percent not 80 81 percent so just you are also people are also reduce you know we have to reduce the desra we have to reduce the ccd and we have to reduce the you know get the carbon credit certificate or just to reduce the interest rate it will work it is not going to work out right now the uh, i mean like many sir we also talk about people have talked about the gst yes 
GST is a fundamental issue. Somebody has bound the project for 2.44 or 2.62, right? Uh, still, they don't know how they are going to achieve because GST is going to play the major role. They have considered the GST for 5% or 12%. We have taken the three slab only 5, 12, or 18%. Now it becomes the 18%. Somebody is saying 18%, somebody is saying not 18%. The, the GST clarity just told very very you know difficult so let government have uh, uh, give clarity on that perspective how it is going to work out and then now about talking about the pricing roadmap right because price is very very important when you are talking about the price you don't talk about the pricing only pricing simply will not come from the supplier will not come from the technology will not come from us, right? It totally depend upon your designing, how you are going to design the system, right? So when you are de designing the system, you have to take, uh, do the micromanagement, you have to plan it, then design it, then verify all the components, let all the components have, have to run, right? It's not like people have come into, you know, the module, uh, sorry, the cleaning system, people have come into like the robotic cleaning, like Ecopia has came or some other manufacturer. It's very good because why are you saying the ro robotic? You have to re reduce the resources, reduce the manpower, increase the generation. So you have to take all this factor into account and then get uh, get the pricing because I, I, because we are the developer. So just just we are asking the supplier you have to reduce the cost, but we never thought it is a timely. They have to reduce the cost. They have maintained the quality on the pr uh, perspective when they are reducing the cost or not. But simply we are asking the costing because my tariff is this. You have to give the module prices this or inverter prices. This is not the right thing, right? As an industry, like the bind, bind, uh, bind is you know uh, growing in a very you know right fashion, and still the bind tariff is good. And uh, I think the thermal also have uh, just dropped down. Ravi has stated because I am not the thermal background. Yes, but it is a drop down. So then as a developer, we have to do, you know, our joint meeting, we have to sometimes you have to take the self confident talk each other, what is going to be future, if you are keep fighting each other or reducing the tariff, this is, this is only for, you know, people are sustaining into market, if I wanted to sustain, I wanted to save myself, yes, I wanted to win the project, it's not like that. People have to think about clearly what is going to be the future, what, what will be affect in the future when tariff will be reduced, how you are going to sustain it. So let us industry have to come close each other, talk to each other, talk to the technology or talk to the developer, talk to government, let collaboratively what bind people have did it, make the policy like that way then it is going to work out, right? Uh, some of my colleagues have already discussed about the rooftop and the solar water pump, right? I think, yes, rooftop, I am also thinking it is a future. Rooftop is a future. Why it is a future? There are two perspectives. When you are talking about the rooftop, there is a RESCO policy would be there and there is an independent private policy would be there. So either you have to go the RESCO or you have to go the private. Both would be workable because a lot of see, building is not going to stop anywhere and population is not going to stop in India or anywhere, right? So let us, com commercial building is going to be uh, build up in a near future or industry is not going to stop, right? So better, I think the rooftop is, uh, uh, is, is our future. And the second, we talk about the, you know, energy storage. Yes, energy storage is the future also. Why energy storage is the future? Because you can see health of the transmission line in our country, the health of transmission line is very, very bad. The 100% the power will not take whatever you are generating and the people have demand in the night and day also, you are not going to maintain. So yes, a storage system is going to play a bigger role in the near future after two or three years down the line and even in the rooftop is going to work out very well and the solar water pump still, yes, it's going to be, you know, play a major role. Now I am talking about the few, uh, few uh, parameter which is going to, you know, uh, make you the decision for the technology selection or selection of your partner or selection of your vendor or solution of your reliability, right? So when you are talking about of the vendor, have you check about that vendor, is a, how many years they have worked in that field, what is their credence or what is their, uh, you know, testimonial about of the client, then have you verify through the third party or independent lab, that lab has passed of that one or not, then if the vendor is okay, their sub vendor is okay or not, their sub vendor financial condition is okay or not, their sub supplier is okay or not, even the vendor is okay, but there you know sub supplier become the bankrupt, what will happen, one of the component is also going to miss your deadline, 
so better when you are doing the due diligence you have to do the thoroughly through the vendor their vendor and their sub vendor also their condition also so number 2 of the day, uh, uh, as from my perspective i am working a two condition if their sub vendor or vendor is not good then you have to develop them make the partnership with them your partner should be a strong they will support you and both will be mutually beneficial so in bike in a that condition i mean the most of the people talk about you know the module is the tier 1 tier 1 i don't know what is the tier 1 i i i have did myself realization what is a tier 1 and to whom should i tell a tier 1 somebody is saying i am a tier 1 i don't know exactly what is a tier 1 everybody giving the same certification everybody giving the same you know pricing everybody using the same manufacturing process everybody giving all the wafer and silk and everything why i am saying the tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 why there is a discrimination discrimination in the industry let us if you have some problem talk to that people let you have to maintain the quality develop that you know tier 2 or tier, tier 3 manufacturer in the tier 1 let they also enjoy they have also invested lot of money right so it's not totally you know, we can discriminate between tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 uh, even i use tier 1 tier 2 and 3 also according to the industry and the performance of the i find tier 2 and tier 1 is equally good there is no doubt about all right so people have just missed out and name plating of the different type of things Yeah, thank you very much. I think I have covered all the points. Thank you, Ravi, and thank you, Anand and Vicky, for inviting me.